And I discovered a long time ago, I don't know if I ever told you, that there's a very important law book out there called Black's Law Dictionary. Yes, we have talked about that in the past. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Black's Law Dictionary is a French dictionary for black folks in all the colonies that the French control. There was a law put out by the by the French government to govern the mm -hmm. blacks as slaves. And it was mm -hmm. called Black's Law Dictionary, not because it mm -hmm. was a Mr. Black. No, it was put out there for the Negro slaves by the French government, Black's right. Law Dictionary. Right, right. And uh, <laughs> uh, what else was I going to tell you? I got some. I got some wonderful stuff to tell you. Oh yes, if you if you were to uh, if you were to go into a costume store or somehow or another get a hold of a policeman's uniform, and you put on the policeman's uniform and you get on a motorcycle and you stop people in the street to give them a ticket. <clears throat> and if you found out the the law says that you are guilty of impersonating a, a, an officer of the law under color of the law, do you understand what the term under color of law means? Explain it. I, I know under, a little bit, but not enough to sound intelligent. Well, and the color of law means that when you are doing something and representing a political power, you have a flag, and that flag represents your colors. And this mm -hmm. is why when you when you have a good friend for many years, and then one day you find out something about him that shocks you, you say, right. oh, I see. Now I see his colors. He's showing his real colors. Why? Because in a war, you show your colors. Unless, of course, you're smart yeah. enough to know you can't win, then you raise a white flag, solid yeah. white, which means That's I right. don't have any colors to defend. I give up. So if you, if you commit a crime, impersonating a government agent is called you are impersonating a government agent under color of law, meaning you're acting like you are representing the colors of America, the blood, red, white, and blue. But in point of fact, you are not. You're a criminal impersonating an officer, so you're guilty under color of law. So it Got means it. that you are not actually representing the colors. Now, the reason why I'm telling you this is because with the founding of the United States Corporation back in the 1860s, 1870s, it was decided that black folks who were brought to America under slavery could not and would not, it says that in actual language, cannot become citizens of the United States because they came here under a wartime setting. They were prisoners of war because the, uh, you know, the, the population of America went over to Africa stole the people from Africa and brought them here as slaves. So they were brought here under the color of mm -hmm. law. They're not mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. citizens. So therefore, that's why we call the blacks colored people. Because it's not the Oh, really? Black. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. See, yeah, Jordan here is such people. a genius about these symbols. They're all terminology symbols. That's fascinating. Yeah. Explain yeah. So that again real folks. quick for people. You, go ahead. Just explain that again. Yeah. That, that. So they're colored folks. Why? Because they are acting like U.S. citizens uh -huh. under color of law. There is no law that says they are citizens because they can't be citizens. When you bring a citizen and when you bring a person into this country uh, that's under act of war and it's a prisoner, he cannot, by law, according to international law, that prisoner can never become a citizen of that country. He is always understood to be a, uh, a criminal. He's always understood to be a slave. Therefore, mm -hmm. he cannot have mm -hmm. full citizenship. So Got he it. can have citizenship under color of law, meaning 
Well, they're already here. There's so many blacks, we might as well just say that they're, they're like citizens. So we just treat them like citizens, and we'll just say they're citizens. But an actual point of fact, they are not actual American citizens. Why? Because they're acting like a citizen under color of law. Got it. So they're Got it. colored folks. 